to create a rubric, you have the option of creating it when you actually go to build your assessments and assignment for your particular project. You can also create and access all of your rubrics by going to your course control panel over right here on the left, bottom half, and then course tools. And under the course tools tab, we have our rubrics link. And you can see that I've already created two rubrics, one for PowerPoint presentations and one for short essays. And to create one, you just go over here to this create rubric button and then you click on it. And when you do click on it, if I go over to one that's already made, I'm going to go ahead and edit this by going to this little circle and then clicking on the edit button. So when you create a rubric, you have the name. So what kind of rubric is this going to be for? Is it going to be for essays, short answer, PowerPoints, videos, whatever? And this is where you describe your rubric. And then under the rubric detail, you can really customize this however you want. Uh, you have the ability to add rows and add columns, and you can rename any row and any column to be whatever you want. Now, for this PowerPoint example, I've got three levels. I've got novice, competent, and proficient. And I want people to be proficient, so I have these percent values much higher than any section. And with the, this, uh, the uh, row, the row percentages, I have it so that you cannot really score a novice in any one area of critique without impacting your grade. So if you want to get an A, you do have to be proficient in, at least or competent or proficient in all of these rows. And I have my rows for things like color design, grammar, use of images to support content, the organization of your PowerPoint overall, and your text design. And again, you can click on any of these labels to edit them, the name, and you can choose to either do a percent value, you can do a point or a point range and a percent range. So it's pretty, pretty easy, very customizable, and pretty awesome. And then once you're done, and this is all saved by hitting submit, we can then go to our content area or our assignment. So assignments, go to our PowerPoint, I'm going to go ahead and edit the assignment. And you're going to see that in the assignment we have under files where we can upload things, we have a section 3 for grading for all possible points, and we have this add rubric area. So I've added the rubric, and I've attached my PowerPoint rubric, and you have to make sure that once your rubric is attached, you want to make sure that show rubric to students is set to yes. And I like to do it with rubric scores, so it keeps the whole rubric viewable to them. Uh, this is actually set to no by default. I'm not sure why, but just be aware of that. So you do have to actually come over here and click on yes to make the rubric available to your course. And then once they do that, they have the assignment on the student side. They see the point possible. And then there's a button here that says View Rubric. So your students can click on this to view their rubric for the assignment.